Hello and welcome to my channel. So today's makeup look is the last one out of my Alice in Wonderland series and this is just Wonderland in general, more specifically Tolgy Wood. So I started off by priming my eyes with a P. Louise base in the shade 0 0.5 and then I went into the Colourpop She's a Rainbow palette and used the shade called Brick Road and applied this on the outer half of one of my eyes. Then for the inner half I used the shadow called Love That in the James Charles Morphe palette. Moving on to the other eye I went back to that Colourpop She's a Rainbow palette and used the shade called Fine China and blend it on the outer half of my eye. Then just like the other eye I used that shade called Love That in the James Charles Morphe palette for the inner half of my eye. I then went back to the outer half colours of each eye and really started to blend that up past my eyebrow and near to my temple. To smoke out that pink a little bit more, I used the shade called No Beans in the James Charles Morphe palette. Now moving on to the body paint, the main bit of this makeup. I used a white eyeliner pencil first to sketch out Tolgy Wood. When designing this look, I just took a lot of inspiration from pictures on Pinterest and just on Google searches. I wanted to incorporate as many animals from Tolgy Wood as I could as it is my favourite scenes in Alice in Wonderland. The first thing I paint is a tree that I've made become a part of my shoulder and for this I used the face paint called Bright Red by Moon Creations. I also paint a little bit of a bush on the end of its branch. Now painting the tree behind it I used the green Snazzaroo face paint that is in their 8 pan palette. I did add a little bit of black to this to make it a lot darker as it's going to be in the background. Moving on to my other shoulder I made this a tree as well and for this I used the Mayron Paradise Makeup AQ face and body makeup in the shade Le Lagoon Blue. For the ground I used the Snazzaroo face paint in the shade Purple. And for the path in the centre I used the Moon Creations face paint in the shade Magenta. For the background as this is a dark wood I used that same purple I used for the ground but this time I mixed a lot of black in it so it's a lot darker and it looks further away. For the very last tree I used the Snazzaroo face paint in the shade Royal Blue. To create some depth on the path and to make the ends look further away I added a little bit of purple to the blue just to give it a little bit of a shadow. Now it's time to create some detail on the trees. I used a black face paint that I've mixed a little bit in with the red face paint and started to create some lines going down the tree to look a little bit like bark. And then I also created some shadow around the leaves on the bush at the end of the branch. I then do exactly the same with the tree behind this, the green tree. I just create some lines going down it to look a little bit like bark. I then do exactly the same thing with the blue tree in the back, but because this is a lot farther back than the rest of the trees, I make the dark lines a little bit thicker and darker so the tree looks like it's more in the shadows in the background. Then of course I do exactly the same thing with the last green tree on my other shoulder, but this time as this is a lot closer, I didn't want the lines to be really, really black, so I made them a lot Lot more of a darker green than a solid black. Now it's time to paint some of the animals my favourite part. These are actually one of my favourite animals in Told You Would and I think they're meant to resemble ducks but they're like a squeaky horn. So I started off by using the Snazzaroo face paint in the shade Lilac to do their bodies and then for their beaks and their heads I used the Mayron Paradise Makeup AQ in the shade Yellow. Then to really make them come to life I used a black and a white face paint to create some outlines, some highlights some shadows and the eyes. I painted three of these creatures and I made sure that all of them were in different positions just to give them a little bit more motion. Now for the next creatures I have no idea what to call them or what they even resemble but in the movie they start off by being little fluffy bright coloured things that are on the ground and then when you go near them they jump up and they have two big legs and big eyes. So for these I used the Fenty Beauty Vivid Liners. I pretty much used every colour and I painted some of them as if they were still in the ground and then three of them are standing up. I'll show you a picture on the screen of what they actually look like in the movie. So as I was just googling photos to put in this video I found out they are called mom rats. I had no idea until now. Now it's time to paint the creature that kind of resembles a dog but the face is actually a brush. So for the face I used the Mayron Paradise Makeup AQ in the shade Yellow. And for the body I used the Mayron Paradise Makeup AQ in the shade Coral. Again I'll put a picture up on the screen of what the creature looks like in the movie as well as the duck things that we painted earlier. For the band around the face I used the Snazzaroo face paint in the shade Lime Green and then I used a black and white face paint to outline and also create the eyes. 
eyes. Talking of eyes, we're going to go back and finish the eye makeup. So I get that blue that we used earlier, blend it on the outer corner as well as the purple on the inner corner. I do exactly the same on the other eye by having the purple on the inner corner and the pink on the outer corner. I make these really blended out. They come down quite far on my bottom lash line as well as going quite high up on my top lid. I then cover my lashes with some mascara and apply the Eldora B804 lashes. I do have a discount code with Eldora and Colourpop as well as Morphe and other brands. They're all linked in the description box down below. For my brows I kind of made this custom face paint using some black, browns and greens and then for my lips I use the Lunatic Cosmetics Labs Lip Slick in the shade Paranormal. If you remember Told You Would has different signs saying different things pointing in different directions. So I made my own ones out of some white foam and just a Sharpie pen. I also created four different creatures that feature in Told You Wood. The first ones I'm going to talk about are the ones on my left shoulder while watching this video. They are little pencils. I will put pictures up of the original creatures on the screen so you can see how they compare to the ones I've made. So I made these two little pencil birds that sit in the bush on the tree on my shoulder on the left. Then on the right I made a mirror bird on my head I made a glasses bird and I also made some umbrella birds. Starting with the pencil birds they are actually pencils that I stuck some googly eyes on then the mirror bird is made from quite a few different things. Its beak and the edge of its head as well as the hair is all made from foam. The mirror itself is actually foil and then I got some googly eyes in the middle. The neck is just a stick and its body is some clay. When I was filming this it was in the middle of a heat wave believe it or not and the clay just kept melting. I had to keep putting it in the fridge and it was just a little bit of a hot mess. So that's why in this video you can see the bird just keeps wanting to lean forward. Forward. Moving on to the glasses bird, these are some glasses that I've used in quite a lot of tutorials. They're just circle blue tinted glasses that I got off of Amazon and then I created the beak in the middle using some blue foam. The umbrella birds are actually straws that have umbrellas around them that you use in cocktails. I painted them black and then added some clay heads to the top of them. So this is the final look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you do like it, make sure to press that like button. And if you would like to see more from me, hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. Also, please make sure you are following my brand new Instagram page. My old one got hacked, so I've had to create a new one. It's called at Brooke Ellis Makeup. It's on the screen right now and linked in the description box down below. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and this series. Let me know in the comments what one was your favourite out of this series and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!